Today, I'm going to show you another stain contraction experiment, but this one makes an egg get sucked into a bottle. So, in a previous video, I showed a different stain contraction experiment, but in that one, I heated up a little bit of water in this glass bottle on its side until it was boiling. I turned the bottle upside down and then dipped the neck of the bottle into a bowl of cold water. In that experiment, the water from the bowl got sucked up into the glass bottle. So that was a pretty interesting video, but today we are going to peel this hard boiled egg and then put it on top of the bottle so it can get sucked in. I'm not quite sure if this will work because you can see that the, uh, the mouth of the bottle is quite small and the egg is quite large. Although this might not work, let's still try this and see what happens. So for this experiment, we need to first fill up the glass bottle with just a little bit of water and then heat the water up on, on its side until the water is boiling. When I was doing the other stain contraction experiment, I put, I heated up the water in this bottle on its side in the microwave. But people were saying that heating up water in a glass bottle in the microwave can be dangerous. So this time, I am going to heat up the water in this glass bottle in a slightly different way. This time, I, I will heat up the water in the bottle on its side in a frying pan with a bit of water. Now, it might be weird to say that I'm heating up water in a frying pan, but I'm using a frying pan because we need to fit the bottle on its side. While the water is boiling, I'm going to peel the, the hard boiled egg. Okay, now I have peeled the hard boiled egg and we also need to get a bowl of cold water ready. Okay, now the water is boiling and I will use the tongs to carefully take out the glass bottle Put it upright, quickly put the egg on top of the bottle and then dip the bottom of the bottle into some cold water. Okay, I'm going to set the camera right here and let's see what happens to the egg on the bottle. Not much is happening. Oh, look, it's actually getting sucked in. It's just very slow. Let's wait a while and see what happens. looks pretty interesting. So I think the mouth of the bottle is just too small for the egg to go into the bottle. So it was starting to get sucked into the bottle but then the egg uh, 
has started to break because this uh, the mouth of the bottle is too small and so it broke and a little bit of air started to get into the bottle which made that weird noise <laughs> this is what happened to the egg a par part of it got sucked into the bottle and it just fell in so the bottle sucked the egg into in a little bit because um, when the bottle was on the pan on the stove the water inside of it was boiling and it created some steam when the egg was put on top of it and the bottle is placed into some cold water the steam inside of it condensed and contracted which made the egg go and get sucked into it so this was a pretty interesting experiment the egg didn't quite get sucked into the bottle because the mouth of the bottle was a bit too small so I think I might try this experiment again but with a larger with a bottle with a larger opening in the future okay everyone that's it for today and I will talk to you next time